Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi will be here at some point here. I gotta start with this today because there's so much commentary by the last 24 hours. A new reality series starring Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes is coming to TNT. Announced on Wednesday's AW Dynamite, Rhodes to the Top will be centered around Cody and Brandy as they balance their personal and professional lives. No release date was announced but a press release stated that episodes will be 30 minutes long. Warner Brothers Unscripted Television is producing the series in association with Shed Media. AW President Tony Khan is listed as an executive producer for the show. In a statement attributed to both Cody and Brandy, the couple revealed what viewers can expect from the series. Since the late 60s, the Rhodes family has been in one spotlight or another. People think they know us, but this show is the first true look... Here on a reality show, Behind the Curtain and Beyond the Ring. They announced on December 16th they were expecting a baby. Gender reveal on the February 17th Dynamite. They're expecting a daughter. And and away we go here. So, somebody on uh, Twitch earlier was like, Do we really need more Cody? I've seen a lot of people very upset. I can't believe it. These egomaniacs have got this reality show. I'm disgusted. Well, everyone, listen. Here's the deal. I actually watched a few episodes of Ms. and Mrs., and it didn't bother me. In fact, Ms. was like a billion times more likable on Ms. and Mrs. than he's ever been on WWE television, which, if you ever watch any of these reality shows, I mean, that's the case with, like, everybody. I mean, the people that you just, you want to turn the channel every time they come on Raw or SmackDown, you watch them on these reality shows and it's like, oh, these are cool people. I'd hang out with them for the most part. I was even ready to hang out with Dolph Ziggler after I saw him on Miz and Mrs. However, you know what? I watched maybe three episodes and then I was over it. I didn't watch it again. We had, we had Total Divas. You remember that show? Total Divas and then Total Bellas, the spinoff. I watched a few episodes of Total Divas. I was into uh, into some of their wacky storylines. Cameron, whatever her real name was, she always entertained me. And her boyfriend, remember that guy? Guy that looked like the guy from, uh, what was that movie? Anybody, come somebody help me out here. But anyway, the guy from Despicable Me. So anyway, but I never watched it. I was like, all right, I don't need to watch any more of this. So I didn't, okay? So here's the point. There's a few points here. Point number one if you don't want to watch Cody and Brandy's reality show, no one's twisting your arm, buddy. Just don't watch it. It ain't that hard. Now, let's talk about why this show exists. I'm sure, obviously, there's a part of the show that's designed to get over Cody and Brandy and Pharaoh. But let me tell you something about Total Divas and Ms. and Mrs. and Total Bellas. I never watched the shows, but you know what? I also never begrudged the shows because the shows accomplished a couple of things. Number one, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but when you do a show on TNT, they give you money. So obviously they're making money. They have signed a deal. They are being paid for this show. I don't remember how much Total Divas made, but I mean, it was like millions, tens of millions of dollars. For seasons of, of Ms. and Mrs. and Total Bellas and Total Divas and everything like that. So they're getting paid because at the end of the day, this is a business and it's about the bottom line. But even more important than the fact that they're getting paid is the fact that whatever you, the listener, thought about Ms. and Mrs. or Total Bellas or Total Divas, particularly Total Divas and Total Bellas, what those shows did was those shows attracted the women's audience. And they did very well with women. And whether you like it or not, the reality is some of those women, a fair number of those women, they were interested enough in those shows that they became viewers of Raw and SmackDown because they wanted to see the Bellas wrestle. Now, if you've been following the Observer ratings breakdowns lately... Something has happened of late, and that is that AEW's women's audience, which at one point was very strong, lately is not strong. And whatever that might be, I mean, there's there's always a million things. 
But Dave's belief is there's just too much blood and guts on the show. Maybe he's right, maybe he's wrong. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. They've lost the women's audience that they had previously had. So if you have a show that is a reality show, it's about a man and his wife, they're expecting a baby, there's a cute dog, this is probably going to do very well with the women's audience. And in fact, if you've gone online... Over the last 24 hours, you will find that the vast majority of people that are very interested in this show are, in fact, the women's audience. So if you've got a show that can attract the women's audience, you're being paid for the show as a company, and you might be able to get some of that women's audience to start watching AEW. This is a no-loss situation here. It is a win all the way around. And if you don't like it, if you don't like Cody, if you don't like Brandy, if you don't like the idea of the show, don't watch it. That's it. I think Mike's here. Any thoughts on this, Mike? Where are you, bro? I'm, I'm, there you are. Nope, it's there you are. You started this show with this promo about the Rhodes dynasty. You didn't say dynasty. Talked about it as a dynasty, the Rhodes Well, I mean, they're dynasty. called the Rhodes dynasty because that was a popular soap opera that attracted women back in the day. Dynasty. The, oh, dy dynasty. Dynasty attracted everybody. That was the, the yeah, best part exactly. of Exactly. Women were certainly one of them, and there's a, a formula to these shows that I'm sure that they are going to follow. But when Chris Lee was on Raw, did that make you want to see his reality show more? You talked about you see these guys on Raw, maybe you want to see their reality show more. You might like them more. Did you like Chris Lee more? I, I never, I never said what. What are you talking about? I never said one thing about any of that. Nothing. I just, you know, wanted to see if you actually watched Chris Lee. No, I never watched Chris Lee. Raw. <laughs> oh, and I watched Chris Lee. I, I, but you know what? You if know, Chris Lee's son and daughter were wrestlers, then probably some of that Chris Lee audience would watch him on Raw. I wouldn't watch that crap either. Well, that's hey, that's the hope of any crossover is that you're bringing over people that, that will stick around, Bad Bunny or whoever it is. You want to hope you can take from them and that those people stick around and buy merchandise and such. So that, that should be the point of any of these things. But why would you turn it down? I mean, even if this doesn't do anything and it just becomes one of those wasn't even turned shows down. That... It was their idea. They picked, they they shot and pitched a pilot. TNT was that... like, "Let's do it, brother." Well, yeah, the the thing, the way things are going for for AEW with TNT, you know, turning more to shows like AEW and turning more to scripted shows and 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 expanding their lineup that way. I mean, it's it, it's a no brainer seemingly. And like you said, if you don't like it, don't watch. There's a zillion reality shows like this if you don't watch it i don't think you're going to be missing anything and if you happen to be missing something but don't want to watch it don't worry about it just subscribe over at wrestlingobserver.com and dave can give you the rundown of it someone here asked if i watch hogan's no hogan knows best yeah i watched some of that Ugh. but you know when i watched them if i didn't like it i stopped watching i didn't begrudge wwe how dare you start a a total Miz or whatever, Miz and Mrs. How dare you? Now I was like, all right, whatever. I'm not gonna watch it, but I did watch it and I actually liked it. But then when I was done with it, I didn't watch it anymore. But I never said they need to cancel this show immediately. What a terrible idea for the history of television. See, so you'd be defending this show by uh, respecting the right of WWE shows to exist. I don't know if that's the best way to to say anything positive about this Cody show. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, everyone has the right to to make money off there. That's what this business is, you nerds. Not all of you, a couple of you, four or five. Like, this business is all about rights fees. It ain't about selling tickets anymore. If you watch Raw, it's not even about telling stories anymore. It's about how many hours of television can we put on television and how much can we fleece out of people to watch it. Not even Content, to watch baby. it, to put it on their platform. Content. Yeah. Content creators, that's what we do. Yeah. That's what we all do. We're we'll, all content we'll creators. We'll put hours of television on TV. The TV will pay us for these hours of television, whether whether it does well or poorly. Obviously, if it does well, it will be better. And then these fans, like, there ain't no tickets to sell, so we'll just make these wacky belts, and we'll sell them to the fans. All these replica belts. Who would ever buy one of those? Yeah, <laughs> probably the same person that would buy one of those uh, those Undertaker uh, Zoom calls or whatever the hell it is. I did that for my grandmother, Mike. Yeah, nice eagle. Yeah, it's awesome. You didn't earn that. 
You'd Actually, it was it was gifted to me for my for my years of service to the radio industry. That means you didn't earn Back anything. Back in a moment, I did earn it. Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.